Mama, please come back. I told we were pals. You're doing it to yourself, Asa. You can't face the truth about your own life even when your own ma comes back from the grave to tell you. You were a businessman. You used to be a damn good one. You know the only souls we trust in this dog-eat-dog -dog world are our own? That's assuming that you have a soul to begin with, Asa. Okay, if this is the only way you'll listen. Why not? Oatmeal raisin is my favorite. Besides, Ma can always take another batch. You okay, old timer? What's your name? Asa. Ain't it awful? We'll never say ain't. Say isn't. And Asa is not an awful name. It's a fine, respectable handle. A name you should be proud of. Lordy. This sounds just like my teacher, Miss Pritchett. Only her eyes bug out of her head worse than yours do. And I'll say eight if I want to. And those thin lips grown up's gonna make me say different. Arrogant little weasel, isn't he? Yeah, I learned early. You know who I am? Yeah, I know. It don't throw me none. Why not? You think I like looking at what I'm supposed to turn into? What are you talking about? I turned out fine. Well, you have a will. I happen to be one of the richest men in this whole of the United States of America. What's that to me? I got all the money I need. I got my dog Rex. I got my marbles and my arrowhead collection. I got oatmeal raisin cookies. Now who wants to trade all that to end up a miserable old coot like you? Now you just wait a cotton pick a minute. I wonder what I'll do wrong in my life to get a face as sad as that one. It must be pretty terrible for a man to end his days despised by everyone around him. You listening now, Asa? Come with me, old timer. I got something to show you. And I'm willing to bet my arrowheads you ain't gonna like it. Come on. It's over here. Well, go on. Look. comes to all. And from the look of you, I reckon I got a long life ahead of me. Still, it pains me to think it'll be chock full of more mistakes than this cookie has raisins. Oh, Vicky. Oh, Sarah, thank the Lord. Tell me this is a bad dream. Some leftover chili went bad. Waste the breath. They don't hear you. Well, at least they miss me there. They're grieving for me. I'm not gonna die alone and un unremembered. Oh, yeah. They'll remember you. Listen. He looks just as mean and dead as he did mine. Vicky, meaner. Bo! Impossible. Sweet Sarah, you too? I know you're supposed to speak well of the dead, but in Ace's case, I'm going to make an exception. Um, dust to dust, thank goodness. If he hadn't interfered, Clint and I might never have been divorced. And the children certainly wouldn't have turned out the way they had. Divorced? No, Vicky, I never meant for that. Hush! Poor Clint. He is still so angry with his father, he wouldn't even come to pay his respects. I don't blame him. We made the right decision two years ago, didn't we, sweetheart? Well, it was painful at the time, but it was the only decision. After we broke all ties with the old man, everything improved. I never knew how much he hurt us until he was out of our lives once and for all. Oh, man. I can't believe they're saying these things. My own flesh and blood. That's why they're saying them. All right, all right. So my so-called sons and my daughter-in-law, they're ingrates. And my wife, Renee. Where is she anyway? Why isn't she with them? <laughs> Renee. With Calvin. That guy's half her age. She don't seem to mind none. Oh, Cal, he looks... So, what? Dead? That's the <laughs> word. <laughs> Stop laughing! 
How can you laugh at a time like this? Oh, I sure did the right thing, sticking with him as long as I did. <laughs> you seen the will yet? Mm, every lovely codicil. <laughs> all mine. Honey, imagine the house I can build. I'm going to have 21 bedrooms. Each one of them is going to have a beautiful woman in it. <laughs> Every one of them working for yours truly. You'll get even richer than you are now. We're going to have such fun getting there. Woo! Love boy. <laughs> now we can really start to enjoy the old fool's money. You love me. My whole family loved me. What the hell did I do to deserve this? away from all the love in his life and then in the end there was no one left to love him not even himself he died the loneliest man on this whole planet stop it stop all this talk about death and dying i'm not a quitter i never take my own life i'm rich i got everything to live for yes asa you have everything to live for but you don't know how to live if you don't change your ways, Asa, this is not going to be a dream. It's going to become your destiny.